that was a very burnout phase when the healthcare professionals were all facing and yeah. we had to be on calls 24/7 because we had nurses who used to work 24 hours and without complaining more than 2000 staff more than uh, four host five hospitals and what 20 medical centers you manage all that how do you maintain your work life balance i was a perfectionist but i think as you mature as you learn a little bit more you learn to delegate and when you start delegating your life becomes a lot more easier working hard for something we don't care is stress mm. but working hard for something we love is passion and i can see that for the 25 years It's, or 23 years you've been working for asto or medcare That was passion, isn't it? It was passion, hundred percent. Because I may not be right. Just yeah. because I hold the title of CEO does not mean that my right decisions may be right. I mean the housekeeping boy. So I'll tell you. So once uh, when we had this World Heart Day, well, uh, you know, yeah, so yeah. he was saying that why don't you just shut off the elevators and let people <laughs> take the steps? <laughs> yeah. Not a bad idea. Of course, great you know? idea. Yeah. People leave their jobs uh, not because of anything, but because of the managers. Person in marketing who's brilliant, who's fantastic, who brings comes up with great ideas. He works out of hours. He will respond to his phone anytime you call him at night. But he comes. Half an hour late every morning, but his performance is just exemplary. How do you manage that situation? A chairman always says that you know the profit is a byproduct. So if you have quality services and uh, you have good clinical care given, your profits will come. But during COVID, we did see a lot of people yeah. dying, and I've seen my staff breaking down. Best marketing team marketing that you can have is one of your patients bringing in ten other patients. JCI. So we talk about every hospital looking to have their accreditation become JCI. Why is that? 